going live. Let me bring Facebook up online. Welcome, everyone. Going to be doing the same thing I was doing last time, and that's working on this little guy. And Bring it on Facebook and I'll be right on. This isn't letting me go live. What's going on? Come on, go live. Come on, Facebook. All right, if Facebook changed this again. painted this white with spray paint. I'm still going to put a few layers of um, Createx on it. Uh, 40, what is this? 40, 30, just for adhesion. And then after that, oops, how did I close this? Great. After that, what I'm going to be doing is um, sketching on the design that I've made. So, once, um, once I get these layers on, then I will. This laptop's going to take a beating. Paint. I'm gonna try, I'll try to cover it or something. Go close this door so the compressor isn't heard as loud.
Okay, so first things first, I'm going to put some of this, put a few layers of this clear on. It's a mix additive, but I find that it improves adhesion when I put it on first, Createx product. And I like to coat, when I do, when I work on vinyl and stuff like that, I like to um, make sure that the paint's going to stick. Because airbrush is a little bit of finicky when it comes to stuff like this. What's up, Nikki? You're going to get high down there, bro. My dog likes to come lay down while I paint, chill out, hang out. Anybody see the video of that uh, chick beating up her dog this week? It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up stuff, man. She just starts wailing on her dog and then she spits on it crazy chick and then she was like it was bizarre because she was like recording a a youtube video as she was doing it so she was being all fake and crap and doing all this crazy hand gestures and stuff and um just it was just amazing to me how fake she i guess that's how you get she had like 300 something thousand subscribers i guess that's how you do it i'm being fake as shit but um you know there are those of us who don't uh, don't have to sell out and just do our shit you know hopefully hopefully facebook goes live if not i'll switch it to periscope because periscope i mean uh, facebook pisses me off it's the only it's the only platform that I'm on that pisses me off. So <laughs> it's like they do the most messed up shit to me. YouTube doesn't bother me, Twitch doesn't bother me, Periscope doesn't bother me, but freaking <laughs> Facebook just is they're it's just run by it's just run by the Gestapo. It's the craziest shit ever, man. I cannot stand Facebook, and I do it because I have more of a following there, so I have really no choice but to do Facebook. That's like where I get most my most views from. I don't get a lot of views on um. I don't get a lot of views on anything else but Facebook. So there we go. I'm on my channel now here. So let me spray this down. So I'm going to spray this down with this stuff. And make sure it's coming out. Turn this up to full volume. Open the window. My poor dog, he likes to hang out in here. He doesn't even care. He don't even care. He's just like... Chills out in here. But I'm not going to be doing this for long. My laptop's going to take a beating tonight. I feel bad for my laptop. So this guy's going to be a luchador, Mexican-style wrestler. He's going to be El Fuego. That's going to be his name. And uh, right now I have the sketch. I did the sketch on Photoshop. I'll pull those up right now. And I'm going to um, roughly follow the sketch. I'm going to sketch him out again in charcoal pencil. Right now I'm done doing this. Sketch him out again in charcoal pencil. And then I'm going to... Um, well, and then I'm going to put several layers of paint on this guy. So you can paint it with airbrush. I'm going to try not to use too much knife because I I use a lot of knife, but I've never used vinyl. If I do use it, I'm going to have to have a soft touch.
So right now I'm just priming it with this uh, 3A Tex 4030 Balance and Clear. And uh, there goes a full bottle of it. I'm going to use a little bit more. And then I let that dry. And I'm going to bust out the uh, the picture of the... Uh, The picture of the the sketch, and I'm gonna get to work. And I'm not gonna I'm gonna follow that sketch loosely. Because I don't like everything about the sketch. It's just a, it's just a mock-up that I did in uh, Photoshop and I'm terrible at Photoshop, so and you guys wanna see my sketches, I have them on there, la uh, put them on there last week, that was what my live stream was about last week, and I apologize for not live streaming as much as I used to, it's just that uh, we went on vacation, and we're just barely getting back in the swing of things here in my household, kids are starting school, and uh, yeah, we've been really busy, but um, my live streams are going to be back, I'm going to be doing more aerosol stuff again, uh, I've got some more canvases outside, got paint ready, be doing a lot more aerosol. I'm going to still do airbrush, but a lot more aerosol is going to be get done on my stream for sure. And I'm also, I also apologize for coming on so late at night it's just I'm a night person and during the day I'm usually busy with my kids I'm, I'm a full-time dad I'm a full-time artist and I have a hobby and that's martial arts I like to uh, train in Muay Thai and I like to train in Jiu-Jitsu I go train at Jiu-Jitsu with Las Vegas Jiu-Jitsu and I train in Muay Thai at uh, Uprising uh, Martial Arts I only train Muay Thai about once a week, but it's totally worth it. It's so much fun. I, I was in, I was a Kung Fu black belt when I was young, so I really like striking. And um, I can't kick as high as I used to, so that's why I like Jiu-Jitsu. I'm not as flexible as I was when I was younger, and um, I'd like to remedy that. I'd like to remedy that. I'm going to start doing yoga soon, maybe. At the house, not at a, um, you know, the yoga video. There's always a tons of yoga videos online and stuff. They offer yoga at Uprising MMA. But um, I, I just the thought of sitting there in a class and embarrassing myself, I don't like. I don't like it. But uh, Julia, the um, yoga instructor, she's really cool. I took my first uh, boxing class with her. It was actually a kickboxing class with her. Uh, and uh, yeah, she was really good, she was good teacher. And now she's not even, that's not even what her thing is. She's not even there to train kickboxing. I mean, to teach kickboxing, but she did a really good job. So I'm putting some white in here now and I'm just hitting the spots that I missed with spray paint. And uh, also my dirty hands or something. Made some stains on there. So I'm just, just kind of just going going over it real quick. Got high pressure on. Got white, and I got a little bit more of that stuff in there. So I don't want any of the of the light blue showing up. Or the this this guy was like uh, blue green or something, but I don't I don't like it. So going over it, and that way I can start painting it, so my poor, my poor laptop, this laptop is a, is a um, tank though, that's what I, that's what I have it for, it's my paint laptop, it's my, it's actually, when I got my surface, I gave this stuff up to my wife, but I use all her shit.
I'm an Indian giver. That's the worst. That's the worst saying. I swear to God. We grew up saying the most racist shit <laughs> when we were young. You know, I grew up in a different time than now, and um, you know, people always talk like about like, people get offended so easy and all this crap. But I grew up in a <laughs> in a time when people just said like like I used to use the the word faggot like nothing like. That shit just came out. Like, if you wanted to call somebody a sissy, you called them a faggot. You know, if you wanted to call somebody a, a weaker person, you would call them a faggot. And it wasn't that I was homophobic or nothing. It's just that's just the way we talked. And it's, now that it's 2019, I realized what a Neanderthal I was. But back then, I, it was just normal. You know, I, I got in trouble once at work calling a guy a faggot a long time ago. Different. I was a different person back then, though. I honestly, honestly was. I've uh, grown a lot as a human being, I believe. So got lots of layers on this guy. Art saved my life, cause I was, uh, I was literally dying. Literally dying from working in IT. I, I I chose IT when I was a young guy just to uh, just to make money because people told me you know I take chicks out and they'd have to pay and stuff and I was like you know I was always embarrassed and you know I was always like my my girlfriend would drive everywhere like her car like and we went everywhere in her car you know she used a dad's gas card. And, and I just wanted to be able to like provide for myself, so I went and learned how to do IT, and uh, I don't regret it. But I put aside, I put aside my drawing, I put aside art, I put aside graffiti, you know. And I thought graffiti was bad because I had gotten in trouble so many times from it. And, you know, uh, there were consequences to graffiti back when I was young. It wasn't wasn't like now. You know, even doing pieces, you know, people talk about pieces pieces nowadays and they go out there and they take the little projectors and shit and it wasn't like that it was a lot more rugged and you would get you would get wrecked if you were whack I and mean, you get kicked out of yards shit nobody would fucking nobody would fuck with you if you were whack it's just a different time now it's a way different time and there's a lot of hacks out there and stuff you know um i i i enjoy i i like the way things are now I like the way things are. It's more chill. It's a lot more about creativity, not about some bullshit politics or anything. But um, I miss the '90s, man. I miss the '90s. I miss the old school. And back then, it wasn't the old school. The old school guys for us were like Steam, Steam, Vulcan. Those were the old school. Those were the shit. You know what I mean? Don D. Rest in peace, Don D. Lee Quinones, still alive. Case 2. A lot of dope, dope, dope riders, man. Those were the pioneers. They, 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 you know, so... I'm happy airbrushing shit in my fucking room. For YouTube, not getting in trouble. I may not have a big following, but I like to like chill out and paint with you guys. People that do follow me, I re really appreciate you guys. I get horrible, horrible uh, from um, YouTube, man. That algorithm just kicks the shit out of me on YouTube. Shot here in, in there. Twitch, nope. We got one viewer on Twitch. 
Thank you, one viewer. <laughs> it's late. And, you know, when I go live during the day, I get a lot more people, but... you think gamers would be up late, too. One more layer of this shit. One more layer of this shit, then I'll dry it a little bit, and then... Uh, Got one over here on uh, on YouTube now. And hopefully Facebook goes live soon. It's at 1047. It should be live now. It's not live. We'll get one. Let's see if I can go live here. What the hell is wrong with it? I'm going to have to switch it to Periscope, I guess, because YouTube is, I mean, Facebook is just not going live. Let me try from my, uh, why would it not go live? What is wrong with my Facebook? This guy needs to dry a little bit anyway. You know, it, it just sucks that I have to be sitting here. I hate, I hate Facebook. And they're, ch they're constantly changing my um, API. Yeah, I, I don't know. Not letting me go live. It looks like the same one, just not going live. It'd be nice if it let me go live on Facebook, but who knows? I have no clue. It's never done this to me. Put another layer of this white on. Oh, Facebook is so frustrating. Maybe I'll just go live from this, uh, from this laptop camera here on Facebook. Let's try that. Oh, unable to find it. Oh, well. Mm. Mm -mm. Such a shame, man. Such a shame. My my most followed on platform. The, the platform that I have the most people engaging with me. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I should hate YouTube for their for their algorithm, but sometimes I just think I just don't understand it. So, it's, you know, I'm 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 kind of green. I just started this year, I think, and I gotta look I gotta look at my history. But I've only been streaming a few months. So one more layer of this white. It's like every time I touch it with my greasy paws, I get like a little stain on it. But that doesn't matter because right now I'm going to hit it with charcoal pencil and it's going to get really stained up. So I'm going to stop worrying about that. Right now I'm just trying to get a thick coat of this uh, white on here with that stuff. Any airbrushers watching have ever done one of these? Let me know. Let's see what the 
error is with Facebook. It says Facebook's live. So maybe it is working. I just don't see it. I don't see my stream, so. Huh. Yeah, it says Facebook's live. Well, if anybody sees me on Facebook, let me know. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Let me know, and uh, we're done. I'll try to find the comments. I apologize if anybody can see me on Facebook. If anybody's talking to me on Facebook, I apologize. I don't see the screen working. I'm going to be getting new cameras in a few months. Thank you to my patrons, Martha and Maria, my tia. <laughs> My patron Candace, my patron, I think that's it, oh my, oh my mama, my mama is a patron, supporting this show, and if any other of you like to be a patron, just let me know, you get free art, um, I owe my tias a couple of, uh, a couple, of, I'm going to wash my hands, because I keep touching this thing. I'm going to wash my hands and let them dry a little bit. Let me just finish this cup. And leaving my greasy paws all over it. It's really bugging the shit out of me. I'm having to go over. I shouldn't worry about it because I'm going to go over everything with color. But the reason I'm being uh, anal about it is because I want to get as much of this white on there as I can, that way when I do paint on him, the paint just sticks on it, I'm not worrying about this vinyl coming out from the bottom, so I got several layers already, alright, let me go wash my hands real quick, because I'm tired of, tired of seeing my greasy paws show up on them. Greasy, greasy paws. Open this window so some air can escape. Let's see if I can dry them up a little bit with this. SpongeBob. Alright, so we got this, and what else am I getting? Let me close the garage. Oh, I know I was going to the garage for. I was going to grab an extension for it.
this is going to work. Where the hell? Well, it made a post, it's just not. So freaking weird. Yeah, that's weird. All it did was, it says I'm live on, on Facebook, but I'm not. I don't know how that's working. Why won't it let me go live? Makes no sense. Oh well. Right, well, I am gonna open Photoshop. Open some Photoshop here and uh, yeah, I'm going to open my project and I'm also going to heat him up a little bit. I just never had this happen with Facebook just not letting me stream. And it's showing me streaming on Facebook somehow, which is the crazy thing. It's saying I'm streaming to it, but there's no, I see no stream up. Okay, so this is my sketch. Um, it's not perfect. It kind of looks like a little South Park guy. Huh? I'm going to um, change his clothes around, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, hopefully. I did this, I did this uh, during the week. You can't see it. <laughs> Jigoro Kano. You want to say hi to the camera, Mick? Hmm? Want to say hi to the camera? Hmm? My, my Boston. It's my son's Boston, actually. Mickey. Hmm? I'm not going to kick him or spit on him off, off camera. Because we love him. We love Mick, dog. And he's named Mickey because my son's name is Michael. When I read him the description of the Boston Terrier breed, he said, that sounds like my personality. So I said, all right, we'll name him, we'll make him like a mini me for you. And we'll name him Mickey. What's your guys' uh, favorite dog breed? Mine has to be the Boston. Um, I like Pitts also. But our last pit. Wasn't with us very long. So. 
very good dog. It's just when he got older, something happened. It just his his, his mind snapped. He didn't. Well, he did become aggressive at the at the end, and that's why he had to go. But like, um, he um, was very loving and was very obedient all his life. Never wanted to let us down. Always was very courteous of the kids. He loved my daughter. But at the end, he became uh, aggressive. Kind of tragic. Just rinsing this out with some water, real quick. Yeah, man, Facebook has me has me uh, salty tonight. I'm not happy about my most viewed platform not working. Really has me in a I'm gonna work out my screaming issues very soon. This could be a really cool project for people to watch though on Facebook because it's something really different than what I usually do. So I think he's about dry. Oh, look, there's a little spot right here. Let me get these spots right here. And I think that's happening when he swings by here. See that? It's not good. It's like rubbing right there. Put a little bit more. protection there and some more white and dry it off put a heavier layer of uh, 40 30 right there with some white God, I wish I had Periscope up right now. Mike, can you bring the um, can you bring the um, the iPad? I don't know why you love sitting there smelling these fumes, dog. 
not healthy. He just wants to be by me, is that all? He thinks he's my dog, he's my boy's dog. I love the hell out of him, though. But yeah, that rubbing right there bugs me. Put a little bit more 40-30 on top. I'm going to dry this off and put a little bit more 40-30. Clear 40-30, not, not with white. As you can see, this is a long process. I've already... This is actually longer than my paintings. And I charged him, I charged him a lot less than than what I would charge for a painting, but Martin's a good dude, so I'm not worried about it, good client, good friend. Yeah, it's a lot more involved than, this is almost like painting a car, I, I mean, I painted motorcycles. I haven't painted cars before, but it's pretty similar. It's drying out of the touch. Careful, Mick. That's hot. Don't sniff it, huh? You'll burn your nose. Careful, Mickey. Careful. I think it's super hot. So I'm going to put a little bit of extra protection for the sliding. I don't really think there's going to be much we can do about it, though, other than this. Just going to have to tell him not to lift that arm up. Put that arm back down. I don't know. Anybody have any suggestions? If anybody has any suggestions, let me know. I have no idea what happened to it. It just dawned. Mike, bring me the iPad. Where's the iPad at? You have it? Can you bring it over here for a second? draw on this guy now. I'll lay him down to draw on him. And uh, I don't think I'm going to keep the spider webs from the sketch. You can't probably see them on here, but I showed you earlier. I don't think I'm gonna keep the spider webs. I'm gonna change the way the teeth are configured. The nose is gonna go about here, I believe. I'll put a big nose if I can. I'm gonna try to make this uh, as cool looking as possible. Let me try the charcoal pencil. I don't like the way this one is. Pencil's kind of kind of digging into it. 
a little more than I would like it to. What the heck is my charcoal thing? Oh, there it is. Bring it down again. It's not too bad. It still feels a little bit too harsh. Mm -hmm. Dry this off the area off a little bit more. Maybe the heat will set it better. I may have to draw it with marker. Yeah, this is almost like painting a truck, like or painting a a, a motorcycle. Draw this on him. Too big. Eyes. Want them to not look goofy. It's funny because the way Photoshop draws this, it's right on the. Uh, it's right on the uh, surface, so it doesn't account for the. Better thing probably would have been a, been to have done. To make these mock-ups is make a little version of this guy in ZBrush and uh, use uh, ZBrush uh, some of their painting tools to draw on them. So I'm gonna make sure these guys are straight and they're at the right spot. It doesn't look like. It's peeling off. That's a, it's not a good sign. So we're going to have this mask cut open up at the ears. And then it'll come over to here. And come down here. And the trick is going to be making it look even. And like it's really a mask. So that's kind of cool. Do it like that. A little ear slits. Look at this mess. That's just from laying on the back of the. Uh, it's a bad thing about. Boys, over uh, over a canvas because canvas you can sit in there getting its primer removed. So that's the beginning of them. So I kind of don't like here. Let me just move this eye a little closer. Do some of those eyes. These eyes. Do, 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 do. I was seeing that song when I'm painting for some reason. Oh, because when I get to the eyes, I think of that song. These eyes, do, 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 do. cry every night for you. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this on uh, my, where's my share? I'm going to share this to Facebook since Facebook streaming isn't working. That's what I just thought of this. Twitter and Facebook. So I, I shared that on Facebook. People have never really come up. But at least I have a... At least I have people, let people know where I'm at, right? I let them know. Let them know. Maybe I should make this. Should I make this nose bigger? What do you guys think? This nose a little, a little bit more exaggerated. My sketch. My sketch shut off. These computers are set up to shut off every two seconds. All right. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to put the beard or nothing on there um, since he's going to be a fire guy. I'm not going to put too much. I'm not going to put too much uh, design on him. Since he's going to be like a fire bro. Man, I don't like that. Okay. So, I'm going to do that. So, that would be kind of cool. So for his eyes, I'm hoping he's okay with these designs. Martin, my man. Good stuff to find. Anybody who uh, stops by, uh, seconds. If you say hi. I really appreciate it. One of the reasons I, I do this is because I get really bored when I paint. So, and it's not that I don't like painting. It's just that I get a little bored. So, I, uh, music helps me a lot when I paint, but. I don't know. We'll see if the we'll, we'll see how these eyes look. Just a little eyeballs in there. Some little eyeballs in there. What do you guys think? No eyeballs or eyeballs? 
Maybe no eyeballs, huh? Maybe no eyeballs. I don't know. I like them better without the eyeballs. So we'll see. All right, let's start. Um, that's his mask right here. So I just drew his mask. And um, his suit is going to have to go like this. Oh, that's kind of cool. Go like that. And he's going to have a traditional wrestler's suit. He'll have kind of like sleeves right here. And um, one thing that Martin, my client, liked on the um, sketch, about the sketch, uh, was one of the sketches that I sent him. I put, I included anatomy, skeletal anatomy. That's his traditional wrestler suit. And uh, we'll put, we'll end it here, about there. And we'll put boots on them. So I don't know if I should put the skull anatomy. I'll try though. I will try. I'm going to put it in at the end. First, I'm going to focus on. Uh, Well, I may need even need to fucking hit this guy with some bulldog. It's just like the paint's just not. The paint's just not giving me a good feeling, you know. Any little any little bump or scratch in it and it comes off. So we'll see. We will see. All right, so I am going to. Mask off the eyes and the nose and uh, hit them with black. Bring me the uh, iPad real quick, Mike, so I can go live on Periscope because Facebook is uh, Facebook is giving me an issue. Switching the Paris, switch the um, YouTube to Fer Periscope because I cannot stand you. I mean, I, Facebook to Periscope. All right, so I'm live on Periscope now, and YouTube and Twitch. Here you go, Mike. Just All right. stream resume. Stream is continuing. How about uh, Twitch? Kicked everybody off.
I'm thinking Facebook changed my API. That's the only thing I can think of. Which is weird because it still was showing that I was streaming. I'll troubleshoot it tomorrow. It's it's for me streaming is is uh, it's a lot of fun, but Facebook makes it really really difficult. Really difficult. Yeah, I may not even put the eyes in there, man. I don't I don't think we're gonna need it. I don't think it's gonna be that important. The eyes. I think it'll be cool, just black. We'll see. Periscope. Sometimes I get a few uh, viewers on Periscope, so it's not the worst platform. The worst as far as viewership is YouTube. But as far as quality, YouTube is up there with Twitch. I've had good nights on Twitch. Just haven't had a good night on, on Twitch in a while. But yeah, um, for me, I'm most successful on uh, on Facebook. Maybe because my age. Say it's, they say it's the old people platform. I apologize for being old, guys. Apologize for being old. Once in a while, you just have really, really bad nights. Tonight is one of mine. I just fixed this airbrush from a drop. Doesn't look like anything got damaged. Last time I dropped it, costing me a few, costing me a few, uh, few ducats. That's like green. It's not the kind of black I like at all. So let's get the big detail smoke. Wanted something deeper than the detail smoke, but that's all I got right now. So. These eyes cry every night for you. These eyes. It was going to be a cool project. Everybody who wasn't watching the stream, because it was late and they had to work tomorrow, going to miss out. <laughs> Way cool project right here. It's going to be... Nice and black, no starting your side. Yeah, every once in a while, you just uh, get shitted on sometimes. Tonight's one of those nights where nothing just, just seems to be going right. Facebook, 
this paint peeling off, even though I've like primed the shit out of it. And uh, just spilled some paint right now. <laughs> Woo. And that's what happens when you don't stream all the time, you know, when you're, you lose the consistency of it. You're just not, you lose that flow. But in the end, I always pull, I always pull through, guys. So if you just want to watch this, you can laugh at me and <laughs> laugh at me while I'm struggling. That then do it. I love it. That's what I live for. This is my first vinyl toy, so there's going to be a lot of trial and error. These eyes. And you can hear me sing. Cry every night. I should have one of them uh, YouTube channels where you sing covers and shit. How do they get away with that? How do, how, how how come I can't put, even put a freaking... Uh, oops. Wow, man. I'm on a roll tonight. So my... Palm just touched what I just painted. <laughs> I am on a serious roll tonight. Right, so I'm gonna dry off. Gonna dry off this. Hello, everybody on there. See, I've gotten a few more people watching on a Periscope, so that was worth it. That was worth switching to Periscope. I may have just drank too much coffee earlier, really. I mean, uh, I drank I was, oh shit, another drop. Also, I'm not set up to paint vinyl toys. It's my first one. I'm used to working on canvases, so. It reminds me of when I painted, um, when I used to do t-shirts and, uh, they would bring hats in for us to paint. You know, we have to do trucker hats or whatever. Oh, there's the break. There's the broken airbrush. Bent, bent needle. So last time I dropped it from, these needles are nice and cheap. They're only, you know, they're only, uh, more than I'd want to spend, but <sighs> yeah, you know that's the cool thing about having a bad day online is people that want to come heckle, <laughs> come heckle you, they can uh, come enjoy that, you know. People that want, so I don't mind it. Maybe it'll get me some some more viewership. Busted airbrush from a from a six inch drop. Gotta love it. But that's why I started having two airbrushes uh, ready. I actually have a lot more than two airbrushes, but two two uh, two clips, two CM. My favorite airbrush. That's why I started having two two on deck all the time because. One night I uh, was streaming and dropped an airbrush and I was done. I was dead in the water. So, and it feels like you're making an excuse when, you, like, when, when something breaks and you just stop the show because something broke. That's like the worst feeling. Because you know the show must go on.
I may actually have another needle in my drawer too. Always have spare parts. Just never know what is going to happen. To making sure nobody's saying anything. Pisses me off. Oh, it pisses me off, dude. You see me stick my tongue out when I when I'm doing something I have to concentrate on. Something I've always done. These to make fun of me at my old jobs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to, um, before I turn it into him, clear the shit out of this thing. Maybe even use, like, polyurethane, a, a non-yellowing polyurethane. Because I've used, like, every kind of clear. I painted little vinyl toys for my daughter, and the paint never really adheres to it very well. But I thought, with all the primer that I was going to put on this, because I didn't prime hers very well. So I figured with all the primer I was going to put, that it'd be fine. But that's not the case right here with this guy. So we'll see what happens. I'll dry this off now. Hey everybody on uh, Periscope, thank you for the likes. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I've been at this for an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, as usual, I'm going to stop around 12-ish. But I'm going to uh, try to get as much done as I can on it tonight. Maybe tomorrow during the day I'll go live with it. See the paint that I spilled right there? Nice clean white table too. That's right. Everything I have has paint on it. Some way or another. Another layer. Find it liberally and dry it again now. These eyes. It's smoking. Oh, got a canvas on it. Cry every night for you. These eyes.
I'm not really too worried about overspray. I got some overspray right here. Here, I'm not really too worried about it because there's gonna be a lot of layers of paint going on this guy, especially the way he's um, the way he's um, primed. That the primer is coming up with any little scrape or scratch that it gets. I'm gonna be putting several layers of paint on this guy. Wow, I'm just a klutz tonight. It's got to be the coffee because I drank uh, I drank some coffee before. And then earlier when I went to the workout, I, <laughs> I drank some pre-workout. So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty amped. Yeah. I'm going to cover these teeth. Cover these teeth up, and I'm gonna yeah. I'm just dropping everything in. I, I dropped the tape right now. It's not a big deal, but sometimes I just get collected. You. you know what sucks is I'm, I mean I'm I'm on a live stream right now, so there's a little bit of pressure, but it's not it's not real pressure. But I've been like at live events where I'm getting paid to paint and stuff like that. And you start making like all these funky little mistakes and it really gets in your head. Like, like, Oh my God, I'm sucking. I am the worst. But like everything else, art is mental, you know, see MMA fight. I, I follow MMA a lot. And, uh, most of their fighting is, I mean, they, they train hard. I mean, a lot of it's talent, too, but a lot of it's mental. Sometimes if their minds aren't in the right place, they can lose. I saw that with Jose Aldo. It's a famous one. With, uh, they had Connor follow him for, like, they went on tour together or something for, like, a year before they actually fought. By the time he by the time he fought Connor, he wanted to murder him. He wanted to murk him for all the stuff he said. And, you know, tragic, tragic tale. But yeah, art's the same way. I mean, you really gotta believe in yourself to do this stuff. And uh, in a world that don't believe in you already, yeah, you gonna. Sometimes you're going to have a lot of doubt, self-doubt. It's so little. I can't believe it. Right. Oh, my but most of you guys probably watch. So there's our first layer. Taking off this mask. You can see that there's a lot of overspray back there. We do not care. We don't care one bit. All I wanted was these brown orbital bones sockets. I'm going to go around them once with some uh, red. I'm going to keep his teeth uh, I'm going to keep his teeth masked. Let's see if I still have those good oil oil based um, paint markers. No, I have a water based one here. I think the oil one see if it happen to it. Let's see how this water based one works. Sharpie for the win. Sharpie never failed. The hyenas from the neighborhood. <laughs> for their eyelashes or eyebrows, so I trust I trust Sharpie for my paintings. 
<laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, Chicano um, YouTubers like to use the the essay gimmick. And I don't mind it. I just it's just like that's the only time that we can uh, do anything in entertainment when we're acting like a like an essay. And I, I look like an essay. People think I'm an essay all the time, but I'm, a, I'm an older guy. And there's, you'll see older, if you see older pictures of me when I was young, you'd be like, damn, that dude was a gangster. <laughs> the way I used to dress. Like, that dude was a cholo. But I was always into graffiti and, uh, and art. But yeah, I dressed a little bit. I dressed a little bit gangster for a minute. But it also had to do with money because the Dickies are cheap. Dickies and white t-shirt. And uh, bald head. And bald head was not because I was bald back then because I had a full head of hair. I had very nice hair. But because um, the girls liked it. Man, I wish I had that red paint marker. Where did that go? Let me let me look for some paint markers. I'm not feeling the sharpie. I thought I had that red one still. Those oil-based ones are nice. I'm gonna have to go buy some more oil-based uh, paint markers tomorrow. Money, money, money. That's all this is. Seriously? Sweet. Alright, we'll try to work with these. Find a few cool ones. And if I have to, I'll just bust out the paintbrush. But my hand's way, uh, What's up, bros? No, don't look for paint. <laughs> I'm looking for paint markers. Yeah, I didn't see everybody join. Welcome, guys. I have the I have that uh, computer muted also. Got the late night Twitch crew crew on. I'll be continuing this guy tomorrow though. Yeah, I ran over a marker. Fell out of my pocket and it was in the garage. A dope oil paint marker. 
These one, these water based ones suck ass. But we will see. This is my first vinyl toy, so we'll see how it comes out. Jesus, these, these things suck. Try this one. That orange would have been nice. Yeah, this thing sucky steps even worse. Go back to the Sharpie. Yeah, I don't always watch chat. Shit, tr Twitch was dead for like hours. I've been streaming for a good hour and a half and there was nobody out here. There we go. The Sharpie came through. I said it never failed for the for the eye the eyebrows of the cholas. Fucking sharpies. I buy every paint I buy pretty much every brand of paint market. But this one's been my favorite so far for as far as like shit ass brands from like Michaels and shit. Hi Firebird. Harbor I mean not Harbor Freight, what's that other place? Hobby Lobby. Yeah, we rocking and rolling. I know, I know. But when you need a quick art supply fix, guess what? Guess who's always there? Hobby Lobby is like the fucking booty call. That cheap booty call. It's always there. Old Faithful. So this guy's paint job. Is gonna be a flames. It's gonna be El Fuego. He's gonna be a lucha libre guy. And you guys get to see me. Fucking cuss and uh, struggle, drink too much coffee or something. Oh, I know. They're closed on Sundays because they're like uh, fucking, not, I mean, not. please, nobody get offended by this, but they're like Christian now. Uh, Christian weirdos. <laughs> nice. Oh, I know leather workings probably. Pain in the ass. I want to do blacksmithing. When I watch Forge and Fire, I just like fucking want a blacksmith so bad. But then I think about it and how I suck at, like, like not mechanical, but. Like kind of like construction y things. And I'm like, well, will that sucking at construction y things translate to blacksmithing, or will my creative abilities carry me through blacksmithing? But I think, because I don't have a lot of patience, that blacksmithing isn't the right thing for me. <laughs> I think, you know, especially like now you see me like fumbling through all my shit and stuff uh, like blacksmithing. You'll burn yourself if you fucking if you're having an off night, <laughs> you burn the shit out of yourself. So I don't know if it's a I don't know if it's a smart idea. 
But man, I think about it whenever I watch Forge and Fire. It looks fucking awesome. Make me fucking long claw. Oh, yeah. Right, let's look at some red around the eyes. Yeah. But they're good for people with, like, ADHD, though. Because I got, like, you know, I got to be always doing something. And uh, I think... I think that would be... You know what I mean? Just sitting there fucking smacking a piece of metal with a hammer all day. All day. Probably helps, you know, to keep you from being bored. It's like grinding on an MMO. Except it's productive. I also don't know how much delay is on this stream. I gotta fix it. I gotta, like, get in there and, like, tweak everything. This Sharpie's really coming through. But I'm kind of using it like a paintbrush. I'm, like, dipping in and... Yeah. <laughs> but Forge and Fire is fucking awesome. I like it. I used to, like, face off a lot on uh, Sci-Fi. And uh, I don't know, something happened. Ink Master, Ink Master kind of is uh, what Face Off used to be for me now. Even though I, I'm don't, I don't watch it religiously. I, I watch it whenever I can, though. Ink Master's been pretty consistent throughout the seasons. I mean, it's, it's had some bad seasons, but it's been, it's had some really good ones too. Yeah, I just broke a needle a little while ago on my airbrush, dropping it six inches. I dropped it from this table and nothing happened to it. And then like five minutes later, I dropped it six inches and it, <laughs> the needle was busted. I'd like to put a little bit more color on it. If only that orange one wasn't so dry. I'd like a I'd like an orange layer around here. That's cool that you guys are here talking to me now though, because it really helps. It's fucking boredom. I used to play music and shit, but I got sick of uh. I got sick of constantly getting flagged by the uh, bots. It doesn't happen as much on Twitch, but it happens on Facebook. And... Yeah. I'm going to have to use a brush. I, w I do want orange. I'm going to have to use a brush. No more cheating with paint markers. Actually, let me see what the orange is. Let me put let me put a base of orange around it. Where's my tape at? Wow. I think I would poke myself a lot if I did what you do, and I would uh, drop needles. That's what I can imagine happening to me. There's a lot of poking and a lot of uh, a lot of dropping and losing needles and shit. Falling onto the floor and then just not able to ever figure out where the hell it's uh, it's at. I can see that happening. I'm poking myself. I poke myself. That's one reason why I didn't get into tattooing is I poke myself with my airbrush constantly. I'm like, man, if I was a tattooer, I'd, I'd be dead. I'd have a freaking AIDS already. 
Yeah, see, I could see that happening. You finding them later, but when you're looking for them, you can't find them. That that's the kind of shit that happens to me. That's the kind of shit that makes makes you crazy. It's funny. This looks like hair, and that's not on purpose. I mean, I may even leave that. That's kind of cool. I didn't do that on purpose. That's all from the overspray. I kind of like his little hair, but he's gonna have a um, the luchador helmet, so I don't know. Yeah, see, I would do that too. I would leave, I'd put them in my pocket and then not and be like, where the hell is that needle? And then looking for it everywhere. Yeah. And it's right there in your pocket the whole time. That's how that's how I ran over my paint marker. You know, I would just leave them in my pocket. My oil paint marker. That would have been so nice for this. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get another one. I'll start the uh, start the big parts of this this. Yeah, when this the, this client said he wanted a vinyl toy painted, <laughs> I thought it I I thought it was one of the little uh, little ones of these because I used to have a friend who would paint little uh, like that big, and uh, I was like, oh yeah, I'll paint that. Yeah. You know, and he was like, how much will it be? I was like, oh, it'll be about forty bucks because I thought it was just a little toy. But I know he won't do me wrong. He's a good client. So. Not getting compensated is like the last thing. I know. Well, he sent me the picture, and it looked it looked tiny. I didn't have a. Um, I didn't have anything to compare it against on the picture, you know. So I was like, yeah. but even he even said when I went to pick it up, he was like, he thought it was smaller, huh? I was like, yeah. I wish that's what she said. Yeah, one of the things about painting with no music is it's fucking boring, so I'm glad you guys are here chit-chatting with me. This primer is not holding up. I think I should have let it set, set a whole day before actually painting on it, too. Anybody know what to clear toys with so they don't get scuffed up? Is it like probably polyurethane, right? Because this thing's getting scuffed up like super easy. I've never had anything like this. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. Like I said, I painted my daughter's, um, she has these little um, pet shops, LPS, and I painted one of hers, and it, 
it took and I cleared it and I but after a while it started getting scratched up. It's like vinyl doesn't take paint very well. A uh, resin glaze would be nice, but I don't know if I I don't know if I could I don't know if I could do it. I don't have I don't have any experience with it. I've seen artists use it for canvases and it looks so nice. It's so thick. Big old thick clear coat, you know. I definitely want to try it out on a canvas one day, maybe, maybe a painting that I don't care about. And just, uh, hit it with the resin. But yeah, it's like the stuff that they use on tables and shit. Oh, I've seen that. That's awesome. I've seen that technique. I follow some YouTubers that like do that technique. It's like satisfying just watching it. Well, usually if I have a, I had a painting that I primed with like old primer one time and uh, I just kept going. The paint was like falling off and I just kept, kept going and finally it stuck <laughs> like layers and layers of art, like just unnecessary, like unnecessarily, but I just didn't want to turn back, and I'm kind of like in the same situation right now with this guy. Oh yeah, I was like in the, sitting in the garage, and it just started flaking off. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And the whole painting started flaking off with it. And I just kept going, I didn't give a shit. And finally the paint just took. Auto body primer. See, yeah, I was gonna get bulldog. This is this is like the, the closest thing to painting this thing has been for me. I painted a motorcycle uh, once. I airbrushed a motorcycle, and this is the closest thing to that. I just that's. Just because it's the dimensions of it, and you know, so the good thing about paint, though, is you can just go over it, you know. Any, any, see all these scuffs I'm getting, but I don't like that, you know. I may, I may, um, I may put this on pause now that I have it masked, and uh, tomorrow. Go get some better primer for this before I keep before I move forward. Cause yeah, that's just not right, you know. But I wanted to get the sketch up on it tonight. He's gonna he's gonna be named El Fuego. He's gonna be like all like true fire. But um I'll show you guys a sketch real quick. I'm not following the sketch. Exactly, but like I'm changing his outfit. I am changing the teeth for sure. You can see the teeth already look different. And uh, let me make sure that you guys can see. And uh, his uh, suit, I'm not giving him a goatee or anything like that. 
can see it here. It kind of looks a little crappy here. But um, it's kind of washed out. But it's going to be true fire and uh, some more designs on top of that. But I think I'm going to stop it here, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys coming. It sucks that I have to stop as soon as people uh, came and hung out with me. But it's just that uh, this thing isn't taking the paint very well, and I want to get – I'm going to put the base layer of paint on it right now. The, the I'm going to do his mask, the, the reds and everything for the true fire. And I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth because I don't want the client to uh, send it back because of that. And then I got these scrapes right here on the side. From, from That's from the hand. So I got to figure out how to. And I really think it's because I didn't let this paint set long enough. I just, I literally painted it right before I came in and then I just took the, the blow dryer and and dried it and thought, figured that would be enough, but um, probably get some auto body primer tomorrow and spray it down with that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate hanging out and talking with you guys. Oh, there's the client right there on YouTube. Let me talk to him real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of looks like a South Park character. But I'm going to change it up. It's not I'm not following that sketch exactly. That sketch doesn't really follow the uh the contours of him. So I think it'll it's going to look a lot cooler with the contours. But um yeah, I'm going to cut it there and then tomorrow I'll be back. I'll be back. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Peace out. So we're at right now. <laughs> I like to show where it's at.